on the cusp of culture shift around the world that is big as the Gutenberg shift mm. in the 1500s. Um, to, it, we, we left the age of the orator probably in the 90s, and we are now in the age of the artist, but the wonderful bride of Christ, the church is still wrestling with that. Mm. Um, and as a result, we've got an entire untapped reservoir of Christians with artistic abilities who want to serve Christ. Um, and they don't find tracks on which to get traction. Mm. Uh, I think the church might be, unfortunately, 75 or 100 years behind the curve. Mm. And because we are not affirming artistically inclined people and we're not providing context where they can experiment and give the church the research and development that the church needs, we're going to lose them. Mm. As I have been saying for a, a generation now, over 40 years. And in some ways it's better, but in other ways it's somewhat the same. Mm. There's still so many people who could be embraced into declaring the glory of him who called us out of darkness into mm. his glorious light, or his wonderful light. And uh, mm. we need um, more aggressive focus on this area, not because we want to be artsy. No. Right. It's because we need to be more human. And if mm. we're more human and operating that way in the way God designed us, we will draw more people to his light because that's what all humans mm. look for. Mm. 